Welcome to my classroom. In the previous video, I mentioned that there are three configurations for using MassPoint. I demonstrated the first one in the video of MassPoint basic techniques. In the video of MassPoint further one, I used two examples to show the structure of the second configuration and the techniques involved that the mass of the vertex is split to fit the ratios on the sides. In this video, I will talk about the third configuration. This example is the problem I left in my previous video. Did you solve it? By what method? Let me do it by ratio of areas first. Let dh to he be r to 1 and fh to hg be s to 1 and area of g h e b a join d g e f and d f then area of d h g is r a area of e h f is s a area of d h f is r s a by the ratio b g to g e which is one to one area of DBG is 1 plus R times A. By the ratio of GE to EC, which is 1 to 2, area of FEC is 2 times 1 plus S times A. By area of AD to DB, which is 2 to 3, area of ADE is 2 third of area of BDE that is 4 over 3 times 1 plus R times A. By the ratio of AF to FC equals 3 to 4, area of AFE equals to 3 over 4 times area of FEC, that is 3 over 2 times 1 plus S times A. Area of DEF equals to SA plus RSA. That is 1 plus R times SA. Denote area of ADF by A. Since area of ADF equals area of AFE plus area of ADE minus area of DEF, then A equals 4 over 3 times 1 plus RA plus 3 over 2 times 1 plus SA minus 1 plus R S A it goes to 17 over 6 plus 4 over 3 R plus 1 over 2 S minus R S times A. To set up the equation of R and S, we look for another way to express A. By ratio of A F to F C equals 3 to 4, area of D C F is 4 over 3a by the ratio of GE to EC which is 1 to 2 area of DEC is 2 times 1 plus R times A since area of DCF equals area of DEF plus area of ECF minus area of DEC we have this substitute and simplify we have that is, S equals to 34 over 21. As FH to HG is S to 1, we have one of the answers. FH to HG equals 34 to 21. Similarly, consider ratio AD to DB, which is 2 to 3. Area of BDF equals 3 over 2A by ratio BE to EC, which is 1 to 1. Area of BFE equals to area of FEC equals 2 times 1 plus S times A. Since area of BDF equals area of BDE plus area of DEF minus area of BFE, we have... Substitute and simplify, we have 
Substitute the value of s, we have r equals 7 over 4. So the required ratio are dh to he equals 7 to 4, and fh to hg equals 34 to 21. The problem is solved, but a bit lengthy. Now, let me use mass points to solve this problem again. Regard H the intersection of the two line segments inside the triangle as the center of mass. So the total mass of the triangle at H can be calculated by the line segment DE or by the line segment FG. The both cases should give the same total mass. For the line segment DE, the mass of D comes from A and B, and the mass of E comes from B and C. So the mass of B needs to be split. For the line segment FG, the mass of F comes from A and C, and the mass of G comes from B and C. So the mass of C needs to be split as well. As there is no need to split mass at A, determine the mass of A first by considering the given ratios. But the ratio AD to DB, which is 2 to 3, the mass of A is a multiple of 3. But the ratio of AF to FC, which is 3 to 4, the mass of A is a multiple of 4. Take the LCM of 3 and 4 and assign a mass of 12 to point A. Then the parcel mass of B on the size AB is 8 and the parcel mass of C on the size AC is 9. Let the other parcel masses of B and C on the size BC be small letter B and C respectively. Now, consider the masses on the side BC, which is a bit complicated as there are two endpoints E and G on this side. First, consider the total mass of the triangle at H, which is given by the sum of masses of D and E. The mass of D is the sum of the mass of A, 12, and the parcel mass of B, that is 8. The mass of E is the sum of the parcel mass of B, that is B, and the full mass of C, that is C plus 9. In this case, the total mass at H is the sum of 12 plus 8 plus B plus C plus 9, that is 29 plus B plus C. By the ratio of BE to EC, which is 1 to 1 to set up the first equation of B and C, we have B equals C plus 9, equation 1. Similarly, consider the total mass of the triangle at H, which is given by the sum of masses of F and G. The mass of F is the sum of the mass of A, 12, and the partial mass of C, that is 9. The mass of G is the sum of the full mass of B, that is B plus 8, and the partial mass of C, that is C. In this case, the total mass at H is the sum of 12 plus 9 plus B plus 8 plus C, that is 29 plus B plus C again. By the ratio of BG to GC, which is 1 to 3, to set up the second equation, that is B plus 8 equals 3C, equation 2. Solve equation 1 and 2. We have C equals 17 over 2 and B equals 35 over 2. Now, for the line DE, the mass of D is 20 and the mass of E is 35. Thus, DH to HE is 35 to 20, that is, 7 to 4. Similarly, for the life FG, the mass of F equals 21 and the mass of G is 34. Thus, FH to HG is 34 to 21. The answers are same as those in solution 1. I suppose it is the first time for you to learn this technique, which may look a bit complicated to you. But if you have a Good understanding and mastery of the techniques of splitting mass of this configuration. You will find the calculation is much faster than the previous solution obtained by ratio of areas. 
Here is another example of the third configuration for the consolidation. The diagram looks a bit complicated, but if you observe it more carefully, the diagram can be regarded as overlapping of two triangles with the third configuration. That is, the original diagram is the combination of figure 1 and figure 2. This structure has been done in example 1 by both ratio of areas and mass point. I leave the solution by ratio of areas for you as an exercise and I do it again by mass point as a consolidation. Let me start with figure 1. We got P as the center of mass of the triangle. Split mass at points B and C. Assign the mass at A first. By the ratios AD to DB equals 2 to 5 and AH to HC equals to 2 to 4, that is 1 to 2. The mass of A is the LCM of 5 and 2, that is 10. So the parcel mass of B on AB is 4 and the parcel mass of C on AC is 5. Let the other parcel masses of B and C be small letter B and C respectively. For the total mass at P given by D and G, the mass of D is the sum of mass of A, 10, and the parcel mass of B, 4. The mass of G is the sum of the parcel mass of B, B, and the full mass of C, C plus 5. The total mass at P is 19 plus B plus C by the ratio of BG to GC, which is 4 to 1, we have 4B equals C plus 5, equation 1. Similarly, consider the total mass at P given by H and F. The mass of H is the sum of mass A, 10, and the parcel mass of C, 5. The mass of F is the sum of full mass B, B plus 4, and the parcel mass of C, C. Again, we see that the total mass of P is 19 plus B plus C. By the ratio of BF to FC, which is 1 to 4, we have B plus 4 equals 4C, equation 2. Solve equation 1 and 2, we have B equals 8 over 5 and C equals 7 over 5. For the light DPG, the mass of D is 14, and the mass of G is 8. Therefore, DP to PG is 8 to 14, that is 4 to 7. The ratio DQ to QG can be found similarly with figure 2. Regard Q as the center of the mass of the triangle. Split mass at A and B. As AK to KC equals to 5 to 2 and BG to GC equals 4 to 1, take the LCM of 5 and 4, 20, as the mass of C. The parcel mass of A along AC is 4, and the parcel mass of B along BC is 5. Let the parcel mass of A and B along AB be alpha and beta respectively. So the full mass of A is alpha plus 4, and the full mass of B is beta plus 5. To set up equations of alpha and beta, consider the line DQG at D. The mass of D comes from the full mass of A and the partial mass of B. So we have 2 times alpha plus 4 equals 5 beta, equation 1. Consider the line EQK at E. The mass of E comes from the partial mass of A and the full mass of B. We have 5 alpha equals 2 times beta plus 5, equation 2. Solve equation 1 and 2. We have alpha equals 22 over 7 and beta equals 20 over 7. Consider the line DQG. The mass of D equals alpha plus 4 plus beta. It is 10. The mass of G is 5 plus 20. That is 25. Thus, DQ to QG equals 25 to 10, that is 5 to 2. Now, combine the figures and the results for the required ratio. DP to PG is 4 to 7. 
DQ to QG is 5 to 2. That is, DP to DG is 4 to 11, and DG to QG is 7 to 2. Combine the common part DG, so multiply the first one by 7 and the second one by 11. So we have, in other words, we have DP to QG is 28 to 22, that is 14 to 11, the answer. Hope the two examples helped you to understand how the ratios in triangle of third configuration are found by mass point. In D, example 2 is a bit complicated, even by mass point. There are other methods to handle this problem. As ratios are given and required by the question, we can reform the diagram to make the calculation a bit easier. For example, we can change the diagram into a right angle triangle and make use of coordinate geometry for calculation, though the calculation is still tedious. There is another method which is really simple and easy. I will talk about this in my next video, Elastic Line. Before next video, why not master the technique by mass point first?